What's up guys, welcome to your 7th WX tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over something called static text. Now what static text is, is pretty much just plain text, just output on your screen. Now I told you guys how to get text and buttons, and also how to get information from users where you can put text on the screen, but anytime that they enter information and you want to get that information in variables or something, you just want to be able to print it to the screen. And static text is the plain is the same as like plain text or basic text. So pay attention and I'll show you how to do it. It's really simple. To get static text, you need to write WX dot static text. Make sure you spell it right. And this is the way you get static text. Right there. Now this takes a few parameters. The first one it takes is the parent, and I'm gonna put mine in panel. Your next is your ID number. You usually want to have that set to negative one. And inside uh, your third parameter, you just write this is static text or whatever you want. And you can write whatever you want, but this is pretty much the text that's going to show up on the screen. Now, this is all plain and simple, but the fourth parameter is the position of the static text. So again, I want mine 10 across and 10 down from the top left corner. So what this is going to do is print me out a static text that's inside my panel and it's just going to say this is static text and it's going to be 10 down and 10 across from the top left corner. So let's go ahead and run this and we'll see what we got. This is static text and see this top left corner is zero, 0, so this T begins 10 down and 10 across from that. So that's static text and aka plain text and yes it is very plain. But luckily we have a way to spruce this up a little bit and what we can do is set a custom foreground and background color so it's not just gray and black so go ahead and make a text object called custom or you can name it whatever you want and let's go ahead and create another static text static text so custom is going to be equal to whatever this text is so let's go ahead and create panel again negative one again and write something different this time right like this is custom or something like that and you want this in a different position than you did before so instead of 10 10 don't put it 10 10 or else it's going to overlap the last one you can have a 10 across still but put it put it like 30 down and now we have a new text that's right below this that says this is custom so the way you change the foreground color and background color of this is like this put custom dot set foreground color and remember to spell color this weird way it's like the British way or English way or something not C-O-L-O-R like we spell in English I don't know why they must have made it over there but and set this foreground color to something like white and this is the foreground color is your text color and the background color is going to be what's um, below that or behind it more likely so let's go ahead and set the background color by putting custom set background color and also you need to spell this one weird and set this one equal to something like blue or something doesn't really matter let me tighten this up a bit that's what she said and let's go ahead and run this and see what we got we have this is static text and this is custom again notice that this is 10 across and 30 down with our position parameter right here but we also set the foreground to white and remember the text is a foreground and the background to blue and that's the background or you probably name it highlight if you're used to working with Microsoft Word or something so aside from that we can also do one more thing that I want to go over and that's align the text now whenever you're aligning text you need two different parameters and it's pretty much the same of this but the other parameters you need is the size of your pretty much the size of your background when you use default size it automatically puts it to the size of your letter so if you align it to left or right it wouldn't be able to tell the difference so let's go ahead and make this 260 wide and you can put it however big you want I'm gonna put it negative one and when you put it negative one tall it's automatically as tall as the letters in it so you usually want to do that um, if you put it like 30 or something you're gonna have a lot of extra space and after this what you need to do is write WX align 
underscore center and this is going to align it to the center so let me show you guys what this does and then I'll talk you through it what we did right here is build a background that's 260 pixels wide and then we use this WX align underscore center all in caps I don't know if you can see it but what that did is made it align in the center and let me show you guys what happened if instead of this negative one for height you added something else if you added something like 30 then when you ran it you'd get it um, like a lot bigger than you would want and if you added it something less than 10 which is I believe like 3 or something when you ran it you'd get a little sliver of color and it'll cut off your text so that's why you want to usually do negative 1 and this will give you the effect you're going for most of the time right there so that's how you make static text and also how you change your foreground color and background color and also how you align it to the center and you can also align it to the right and um, you don't need to align it, align it to the left because that's the default but that's how you uh, make static text and how you spruce it up a bit with colors and align so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next tutorial